Hey, Roland. I appreciate your offer to move into Sanctuary, but I got a lot of stuff here in Firestone. Uh, Sanctuary sounds nice and all, but Firestone's my home. I made my decision. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die in the city I was born. Firestone. Attention, citizen of Firestone. Die. Oh, piss. Uh, on second thought, Roland, uh, when's the soonest you can come pick me up? Receiving this, respond as soon as you can. Blake came back again today and showed me some faked pictures of New Haven. The city was burning. A lot of people were dead. Blake said his boss burned the place to the ground when everyone living there wouldn't move out. Of course, I know those pictures had to be faked because you and the rest of your pals were holed up in New Haven and you would have stopped those troops from taking the town, right? Okay, any candidates today, Angel? There are. Four treasure hunters who arrived on a shuttle several hours ago. They are currently on a bus to Firestone. Great. Say this to them. Don't be alarmed. I need you to stay calm and don't let on that anyone is talking to you. Start making your way off the bus. The bus is still moving, sir. Shut up. Tell them. John, why have you dispatched one of our satellites to Pandora? What are you doing? Uh, but, uh, sir, uh, the energy reading's my, uh instruments uh, at home are getting from Pandora are... Get out of there at once, you hideous little code monkey, and shut off that satellite! Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Tassiter. It won't happen again, sir. Yeah, I know you think I'm a monster, or you think I enslaved Angel, but you didn't see what she did to her mother. I had to restrain Angel's power. You get that? I had to. And I'm sure he had to exploit her for profit and power, too. Don't listen, Vault Hunter. He killed Angel long before you pulled the plug. Don't you dare speak about my daughter. <sighs> Lilith has quite a little mouth on her, doesn't she? And as it turns out, when that iridium is pumping through her body, I can stab her over and over and over, and it just heals right back up. I'm told it's agonizing. Oh, she looks pissed. Son of a bitch. We're coming, Lil. Just hold on. job, amigo. Now that you're in, there ought to be an info terminal nearby. Find it. There! Jack sent all the Iridium he's mined straight to the Hero's Pass. That must be where the warrior's buried! Get back to Sanctuary. It's time to get ready for the final assault. This ends now! Jack, Lilith, and the warrior are in Hero's Pass, so that's where we're headed. This is the final fight, amigo. If you gotta prepare, do it now. Go check around the city. These people don't have much, but they still want to help you. Hyperion's locked the entrance to Hero's Pass. Get back to Claptrap. You'll need him to open the way for you. Brick and I will meet you once you're in. Win or lose, we're gonna finish this together. For Bloodwing, for Roland, for Pandora! Though I generally have trouble verbalizing my thoughts into words that will not utterly confuse or nauseate you, I find my mental processes are now surprisingly focused. I have only two words for you, perhaps the most important two words ever spoken on Pandora. 
Kill Jack. Here, this may help you in your efforts to put a hilariously large hole in Jack's face. I ain't the best with words, but I just want you to know I'm rooting for you out there. Jack kicked me out of my home back in Firestone. It's about time he got what's coming to him. Here, thought you could use this. That vault hunter comes by. You make sure and give him my love, all right? What? Ooh, no, I ain't gonna do that. I mean, wish him luck, Scooter. Uh, okay, that makes more sense. Hey, and if we don't get through this, if Jack wakes his warrior or whatever, tell Ma... Tell Ma I love her. Hell, girl. John knows that. <laughs> Catch a familial reconciliation! Why you always gotta do that? Oh, uh, hey man! Ellie and I were just talking about you. Now you, you make sure to come back alive, okay? If you can, come back with Jack's head on a pike. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear? What Scooter said? I wanna hollow that son of a bitch's gourd and eat nachos out of it! Oh, nearly forgot! Ellie and I got something for you. Hope it helps. I've had just about enough of that handsome jackass sugar. Get rid of him and you'll never pay for another drink again. Here, I got I something like for it. you. I want it! Well, my old friend, I wish you the best. May you return from your quest with handsome blood on your hands and a smile on your face. Oh, and lest I forget, here you are. Thought it could be of some use. Jack's monopoly on weapons is running me out of business. But that's not why I want him dead. I want him dead because he's a greedy, murdering son of a bitch who needs to die screaming. Good luck. Here, you might need this. Wand. Sup, sucker? It's Tina. I wrote you a poem that goes a little something like this. Bring it down! <clears throat> Kill Jack. Kill Jack, kill Jack, kill Jack, kill Jack! Kill Jack, a poem by Tiny Tina. on the gates of sanctuary for weeks until suddenly they stopped. I see scorch marks all around the bloodshot camps. No human could stop the bloodshot so completely, so violently, so beautifully. No one but a god could accomplish such a feat. The sky lit up with fire and blood and bullets and screaming. One of our scouts came back from his morning patrol exactly as he usually did, except this time he was on fire. His skin was black and crisp, his vocal cords cooked. As we circled around his smoking form, ready to divvy up his loot, he shrieked one word with his last ounce of breath. Firehawk! Cool. Uh, another day, another unsuccessful genetic abomination. Oh, crap. Remember how I said that little Skag's mom must abandon it? Well, I think she found him again. I hear Skag moms eat their young. You gotta take her out, man. Sonríe, hijo de... Good job saving the little scat buddy, man. I think logistically that makes you its new mom or something. I don't know. <laughs> what a jackass. Now give me my money back.
chosen one. Ha! I wish I had more warriors like you. Between us, the rest of these slabs are kind of useless. <laughs> Sir, we've lost at least a dozen staff to the Angel's malfunctions. We need to shut her down. Your wife suggested as much before her disappear- <clears throat> Jimmy, please make a note. I'm strangling Mr. Morin for bringing up my wife. Choked? Mr. Morin? No, no, Jimmy. Choking is something you do when you eat too fast. As I'm crushing Mr. Warren's windpipe with my watch chain, what I'm doing is actually referred to as strangling. <laughs> please. Please. Da -da 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 there we go. Anything else on today's agenda, Jimmy? It's Jeffrey, sir. And no. Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> well, then. <clears throat> Drinks are on Handsome Jack. Let's get him! Why isn't this working, Angel? I don't... I've pumped every freaking ounce of iridium I've got into you, but the stupid key isn't working. Why? I I'm sorry, I don't know. You're a siren. You're one of a kind. Now make it work! I want that freaking warrior, Angel! I want him awake, okay? I want him under my control now. I, I want him now! Not later, now! Da 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 now, now, Mr. Tassiter. Blackmail. Such a dirty little word, isn't it? Actually, now I come to think of it, it's not a dirty word at all. It's kind of awesome. Blackmail. Say it with me. Back. Oh, go to hell, John. Just because you got lucky with your Pandora hunch doesn't mean... Because I was right is what you mean. And call me Jack, idiot. You may have been able to scare the other directors into giving up their shares, but I know you. I know that beneath that ridiculous mask, you're still a hideous, pathetic little nobody. Mr. Tassiter, maybe you can settle up something for me. Do you know the difference between choking and strangulation? I didn't want Jack dead before, I sure as hell do now.